right, guys, the wait is over. I finally received my EX07 from ZD Racing. And it is the, the Hoonigan Mustang. The one seven scale four wheel drive electric hypercar. The EX07 from ZD Racing. And as you can see, it says Hoonigan and all that on the car. So you know what you know what car it is. So uh yeah, I've been waiting on this and uh, I finally got it in today. And uh go ahead and do an unboxing of it and uh try to get this thing out here and run it. So um and man, this thing just looking at the box, just man, taking it just taking delivery of this, man, this thing is huge. Uh, also just looking at the box, man, uh even before I even open it up, just looking at some of the specs on this and looking at the pictures, man, uh it looks very impressive. I've already seen two videos on this car so far, so um and I've seen some good things from it. I've seen some bad things on it and um we're gonna test the limits to this stock car. Uh before I make any adjustments to this car, I mean we're gonna see how far we can push this car with the stock electronics and everything. And then after that we will uh upgrade it to some big boy electronics and see what happens so without further ado man let's open up this box and get this big boy out of here all right so got the box open man and got a lot of stuff here uh i guess in this bag here we have battery strap velcro straps uh look like some diagram of how i guess the stickers go on to the car that's what it looked like and some uh some screws here and then here we have two sheets of decals to go on to the car so they don't put them on for you they uh allow you to put them on i think the only ones they put on are the ones for the window more than likely so that's that. And here you have, I guess, the instruction on the radio. Yep. So that's that. And here they give you this cheap charger here, which we won't use on these batteries, which don't I don't really use on any battery, to be honest with you. But yeah, we got this charger here that over there and man just looking man this thing is massive Woo. this thing is massive man it took me a, a little minute to get it out the box i had to struggle with it <laughs> oh man picking it up and cutting those straps off of it but uh yeah man this is man nice very nice um uh, we got all off. Take the plastic. Man, look how this thing shines. And just, man, just the detail on the body. I mean, Yeah, just look at the detail on the body, man. Uh, this thing is impressive. Even have the little vents right there on the side that actually suck in air. Let's get this bad boy off. Let's get the hood off this thing. get a grip 
There we go. And I want to believe. I got a little damage right there. Pen. We'll see if he got a protective film on here, other than a, other than the other piece. But uh, so here we have our remote here with the uh, zip tied here up under here. Yeah. So let me cut this and get this out the way. I got the remote loose and uh, got the ZD Racing remote, which basically is a Dumbo RC radio. I have nothing but good things to say about Dumbo RC radio, so uh, I can see why all these RC companies are trying to use them now. So, so basically, that's all this is, and they just put their uh, ZD Racing labels on it. Anyway. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to all the good stuff here. Man, all this orange aluminum, man, that's, that really just sets this car off, man. Uh, all this orange aluminum is really setting it off. Got your brace bar here. Got the Z Racing brand on it with the EX07 on it. Comes with your two 3S batteries. Uh, so this is running 6S. Um, I'm guessing this is a. Uh, what's this? So this is 5,000 milliamp. Yes, yeah, 5,000 milliamp. And it looks like it's 35C. Yep, so this is a 5,000 milliamp 35C 3S batteries here. Um, I know uh, Tomily, he has some issues with his batteries uh, out the box that they wouldn't charge up evenly. So uh, we going to check these batteries out make sure they're some good. To run and uh but yeah everything look good here man uh got the servo here for the uh e-brake And that's the 4042 can motor. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's 1900 kV. Got your Velcro on the side for the body. So the body has. It has the Velcro here on the side for the body to keep the side snug to the car, to the chassis here. Keep it from flopping around there. And these tires, man, they actually kind of, they kind of stiff. That's probably, yeah, they're kind of stiff, so. The shocks. And this is the front. The rear. So the rear is a little bit stiffer, so, and that's good. For the rear to be a little bit stiffer, since you're going to have all the, the force, the torque. So. Uh, uh, so like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change anything or just anything on this car. I'm gonna run it just like it is out the box. So I'll know, or so everybody can see the negatives and the positives of this car straight out the box without even touching it, without even changing anything. Uh, here you have your, uh, 150 amp ESC, which, like I said, it's a ZD Racing branded 
ESC, but uh, I've had a few of these ESCs myself, and they're basically surpassed hobby uh, ESCs. Uh, so I ran a few of those myself uh, on some projects. Got the receiver box here. And it has a, um, well, I don't know what the uh, rating is on the uh, steering servo. It doesn't have it on there. But, uh, yeah, I don't see it on there. Might be a 15 kg, I think it is, though. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, this thing is massive. Uh, hold on. Why do they got the battery hooked up? It came with the battery already connected on this side. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Yeah, they had the battery connected, man. I don't know. So I'm going to have to test these batteries, check these batteries out, make sure there's some good. If not, we'll run our own batteries in here. And I know... The RC Kiwis, uh, they ran their car uh, on a 6S single battery, um, and the ESC didn't like it. It went up in smoke, and yeah, they contacted, I think, ZD Racing or someone, and um, see what's going on, and uh, ZD Racing ended up putting up, up a uh, statement about this uh, ESC and about the... Uh, type of batteries uh being used or what you shouldn't use and uh this is the statement right here that uh that they came up with here now after reading that statement that they put up man I just laughed because I don't think it should matter what type of battery uh you use long as, as it's in i i'm guess long as long as it's in line with the batteries that are being used meaning if you are using if it says the esc can take six s and you using a six s battery you know it shouldn't matter whether you're using two three s batteries or one six s battery uh uh i think it shouldn't have any issues so uh so I don't think it's a battery thing. I think it's more of a, a ESC thing. Uh, and I wouldn't push this ESC past 6S. Uh, but, um, yeah. So we're going to see if we can use these batteries. If not, uh, we'll use some different batteries. I got some uh, some big 5200. Uh, I think I got, I got some 50 uh, C batteries. So that's the smallest C battery that I have in the 3S, 2, 3S. So, uh, so we'll run the 5200 milliamp 50 uh, C burst 3S batteries if I have to. Uh. But again, like I said, uh, I'm not going to change anything out the box. We're going to see what this car does uh, out the box without any adjustments, without any tuning, anything. I'm not tuning no shocks, nothing. Just going to run these. Uh, this bad boy here. We got the big boy shocks here. Got the side skirts here. We have metal dog bones. We have a front sway bar. Sway bar in the rear as well. Some metal dog bone in the rear. And this is a. Three piece, uh, got a three piece drive shaft here. One, two, let's see here. That's one, that's one there that connects to that cup here. And it's just one come out of this cup into here. And then another one here to there. So, three drive shafts. center diff doesn't look like anything is leaking so that's good coming out the box
Yeah, just trying to make sure I ain't have any fluid leaking. No fluid leaking out of here, so. So we really, we are ready to rock and roll. And see how this uh, ESC hold up. Uh, I was looking. And I'm not mistaken. I think this comes with a 19 tooth pinion. I'm not for sure. But I know they got options up to a 33 tooth pinion. And so I have a 21 and a 29 tooth available. So once we do all our initial testing and all that thing, all that stuff, uh, I may throw one of those gears in there and uh, I see how this ESC hold up, if it holds up after the initial uh, testing. So, so we'll check this out. Like I said, I could have got a, a felony infraction, you know, but... I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to uh, go against the grain and get something different. And when this ZD Racing came out with this, man, I just said, you know what? I got to have it, something different. Um, and hopefully eventually be able to put it up against uh, a, a few felonies and infractions and limitless, you know, uh, get some guys and we just have some little fun out here. Uh, I, and I basically, I want to do it out the box. I want to do it out. You know, I want to put it up against felony and infractions and all that without uh, doing anything to this car. I want to do it stock, stock for stock. And then eventually, I'm like I said, I am going to upgrade this car uh, to my liking. And uh, and I'm more likely we'll go up a pinion gear or so uh, from seeing some of the other videos. Because this car is supposed to do 80 miles per hour without the box. Uh, but I, I haven't seen anybody hit that yet. So, uh, so I don't know if that's really with a, with a stock pinion or with a pinion upgrade, but we're going to check all that out. And, uh, after we do our testing with the stock stuff, and then after that, we'll, we'll start playing around with this. Uh, <clears throat> the suspension itself, like I said, um, it looks pretty, uh, well made and intact here uh the plastic here is kind of thick and beefy uh like i said got your adjustable turn buckles here with the plastic ends uh your aluminum shocks threaded shocks uh and like i said where they have it adjusted at, i probably i'm not even gonna touch anything i'm gonna leave it just like they got it uh out of the box and uh and we'll play with it afterwards, after we uh, run it like that. <clears throat> and, uh, because we may have to adjust the shocks, lower it in the front or something like that, depending on how everything goes. Uh, big, thick foam bumper there. So that's the look on it, uh, You see this nice metal chassis here. I mean, got the diffuser down there. Yeah, those uh, lower control on they look real beefy. So uh, shouldn't have any issues as long as you ain't crashing it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not crashing it, should be good. So, another thing too is it's supposed to have uh, this thing does have lights, and you're supposed to be able to change uh, different colors on the uh, headlights. So uh, we're going to test that out. They got it set up and got the wire out the way, so it's a good deal. That's the for the front. That's for the rear. So uh I see the connections for it. Um yep. So they got the connections already. Uh this connect to the front lights. And this wire here connects to the rear lights here. So, uh, 
And man, these things are these tires are man, like I said, wide. And listen to the metal gears. Man. Woo! Yeah, this thing is massive. We going to uh so put on our stickers and everything. Uh I don't like how this uh grill is popping out here. I don't know if I can push that back in or if that's a defect or whatever, but we'll figure that out to uh Yeah, we'll figure that out. But yeah, we'll put the decals on here and uh and get this thing going. So hopefully we'll get a chance to get out here and get get a uh, good run out of this car uh here in a few days. And uh we'll see how this car holds up. Uh, I'm gonna get all the decals put on and get the batteries charged up and um uh, we gonna get ready to abuse it. Alright guys, y'all have a safe one. We'll see y'all on the next video.